Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we are in the data center because I have a server that I need to take out of here it's not it's not well it's going somewhere but I'm not getting rid of it it's it's this Hewlett Packard cloud computer it's the CL 3100 generation 3 so um, yeah I think I'm lenting it out I am um, well I have a little issue at work we have some hardware that hasn't arrived at time uh, it's gonna be three months from I ordered it until it gets here and well we are in need of an emergency solution and when I heard what they really need they have they have ordered something way bigger than than what I can provide but when we had a chat about what they could do with in the meantime of oh I have one of those so uh, yeah they're gonna be borrowing this because it has 12 trays so kind of this video is sponsored by bargain hardware because they sent me this years back back in 2021 time flies when you're having fun right bargain hardware yeah um, I'll get back to those but it's also sponsored by Lexi Gallien, Thais Jensen, MMV Vlog, Michael, James Cackle yeah those are the last patrons that has signed up since I well named them last um, it, it's not able to say Thais Jensen it's a Danish name sorry Thais I know Thais very well he's on almost every Sunday when I do my um, uh, discord live chat with uh, well all the patrons well all the patrons that shows up for the live chat but yeah I know Thais very well he's the one that sent me liquor <laughs> and also MMV block he is not newly signed up but he changed his subscription so now he wants to pay me more money yeah nothing wrong with that I might just have to try this Lexi Galilean Thais Jensen MMB Block, Michael, and James Kalalayer. Yeah, I might be butchering it even more than Google Translate. So I'm not a huge fan of the Hewlett Packard Enterprise brand, but I must admit I like this server. Uh, I like the layout of it, and I like it um, for what it is. It's a it's a workhorse. It's not pretty. It's meant to be an, a specialized entry level server. So there's no fancy stuff but it has it where it counts so if you're one of the few nerds in the world that haven't seen Star Wars the first one uh, this is where the Star Destroyer comes into view at the, at the start of it it just keeps going and going and going and going and going and going and well <laughs> it's really long this server there we are and I'm, I'm taking it down, but I think we, sh we need to have another look at this because it's so cool. So uh, yeah, now that I'm, I'm messing with it, I think we will we'll have a look at it. So I have shown this multiple times. I'm sorry if you've seen it a million times, and I'm sure that Bargain Hardware has none of them left because they, they weren't too expensive either. So it was a real bargain, excuse the pun. And this server is special because it's a one use server that gives you the ability to put in no less than 12 large form factor hard drives and it does take both SAS and SATA and I think this is so cool. On top of that it has two processors here it has room for a bunch of RAM like there are 16 slots of memory in here so the two CPUs in here are the Intel Xeon E5 2600 series and it uh, will do the version 3 and version 4. So the latest two processors in that line before the processors became the scalable CPUs which they have been ever since that. But in this server I have the E5 2620 which is uh, well it's two 6 core CPUs and they uh, have a normal running speed of 2.4 gigahertz but they can turbo boost up to 3.2 gigahertz so a total of um, 12 cores or 24 threads in this server which very much as, uh, looks like a it's like a blade server in here it's 
it's very similar in construction CPUs well they score uh, 7839 each on a CPU benchmark so a total of 15,000 something and each of them has eight blocks of memory available I do not believe these blocks were very big no there are four gigabyte blocks that are in here so there is definitely room for improvement there you can put in blocks that are a lot bigger than four gigabytes uh, so yeah you can you can really extend this with some more RAM I might have to do that for what it's going to be used for um, but I'm gonna wait with that and see what they come up with um, it has a lot of expansion for for drives on the system board my server comes with a really nice RAID controller back here that will uh, will do all the drives it will do RAID and it will also do HPA so whatever you want it will do it but on the system board there is actually connectors here uh, for, for SAS, SATA uh, I forget uh, might only be SATA connections here so there is uh, four and four SATA connections here and then there is one in here as well so there is without any extra boards it can handle nine drives and then you don't need a lot to handle the last three drives most likely four drives because it has the 12 large drives here but often you don't want the boot drive to be on your large drives so you want to separate that so that you have your large drives for the storage needs and then you have your smaller drives which it does have further back down here it has two 2.5 inch hard drives in the back here that you can use for your well booting or maybe even as a cache drive uh, would be beneficial so in total this server has like 14 drives in it so uh, it's a beast but a thing that this server does not do it does not do quiet <laughs> these uh, fans that are cooling all of these drives well they they are not meant for uh, uh, quiet they are really noisy when the when the server is running so when it's um, it's fully occupied with with drives and it's spinning good well you know where it's at it's not something that you put in your living room and forgot about it because it will remind you this server is pretty awesome for something like hyperconverged storage and it does have some enterprise features like it has two power supplies there it has redundant uh, boot capability here it has somewhat okay uh, power thing I don't like all the cables I like it when they don't have the cables but never mind that and um, yeah those things are okay the rest of it is like entry level stuff like this is okay made but I'm sure it hits a very nice sweet spot uh, price wise so this is something that host providers would have uh, purchased for their cloud uh, storage and you can put in a good amount of hard drive space in here so uh, 20 uh, terabytes in each of these and you have a server with 240 terabytes in one U that's uh, that's a fair amount um, also on the system board over here is a daughter card and this is two times 10 gigabytes out the back SFP plus ports so um, it has that too yeah I think we we want to put it on something so I'll lower it onto this box here I think we want to put the, the casing back on so that, so that it's as heavy as possible that was a joke so how do I get this out well, I think that might be this button here yes and it comes out even further and it goes down on the box there and safety slippers of course I think this gives you a really good idea of just how long this server is I believe in my first video that I told you that it was 98 centimeters long so it's a long one and bargain hardware has the sticker right there
The only thing it has on the front is a UID here so that you can find it in the rack. So you can send whoever in the company that needs to go and replace this fan, who, uh, which is not working anymore. Well, I don't know if it's working. I think it's perfectly fine. But you can send anyone down to the data center and replace a part. Or more or less just take the whole server and bring it back. And if you fill a rack up with these and you have like well, four racks of them, it can be pretty difficult to find the right one uh, front and back of the rack. You can of course go and count the, the rack numbers, but yeah, that's what the UID is for. You can activate that and help someone find it. So on the back here, we have a power on button here right there and we have a serial connection which is meant for controlling the server from a command line tool we have the VGA connection we have an expansion port in which I had that rate controller sitting that actually controls all the drive then we have the daughter board in there and then yeah that's the two 10 gigabit connections then we have a single network connection here one gigabit two USB ports we have two LEDs and that might be the label for them so the BMC and the UID might be it it has a reset button so you can reset the server if you're in need and then I have oh I have hard drives in here I should probably take those out or check what's on them and two power supplies and there is also some UID stuff here which I must admit I have not even looked into what that is all about and the two power supplies and it <laughs> and that one has I don't think ever come out ah, now I got I wanted it so oh, this is short and cute so a tiny little power supply and it's 550 watts so it might, there might be a limit to how big processors you really want to put in this if you also have some 12 drives in there so and maybe more more ram so two of those so on the back of the racks i'm actually pretty happy uh, to get these uh, rails out of there because they are sticking out quite a bit when that server has been uh, in here and they're coming out as well oh it's already dirty and i washed it last week <laughs> in the video last week so, yep um without revealing too much if this server gets lent out to to what i'm planning to lend it out to it's most likely going to be the most important task that this server has ever done it's most likely going to be the most important task that this server has ever done. Oh, yeah. Uh, fiber optic cables that followed me home from work. We don't reuse the older cables, but we need to have the rails here as well. There is room for plenty good servers in this car. I have actually had four normal servers, not this long, in here. So, uh, yeah, it's a good car for transporting servers. Awesome. So the server is ready to come with me to work. If you are in need in other good hardware, I do recommend Bargain Hardware. And that is bargainhardware.co.uk in the United Kingdom. And if you use the checkout code, my playhouse, small letters, you get 5% off of your first purchase. So that's about it. Thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a really nice day. Bye bye.